breakfast. Breakfast of Champions. It's about four o'clock, just got in the parking area. Um, it's been a day. Yesterday I got that Jake over there. Totally different piece of this property. First time hunting this particular section of public. And uh, I spent a lot of time out in this section when I was in college. Um, ended up being a, a scenario trying to call birds off private. There's definitely gobblers out on this side. And that's what I'm looking for at this point. I've run into a lot of jakes on this property and just trying to pinpoint where those gobblers are and make a move on them. Uh, it's about a mile, mile and a half in here, uh, straight up the mountain. So got quite a hike ahead of me, but planning on getting out there with plenty of time left. Uh, relax, wait out the morning and listen for the first gobble. It's supposed to be a pretty nice day again today. Not, as, not quite as warm, but uh, in the wind, going to be a, a little heavier today but no big deal there pretty excited for this morning and uh you know i'll see you out there at the sunrise well it's legal shooting right now just after six i haven't heard a gobble yet i did have some hunter come through totally ignored me and then jumped onto private land he's like i don't know 50 or 60 yards onto private I don't know if he just doesn't know where he is or if he's just blatantly breaking the law, but either way, I'm gonna move away from him and try to get higher on this mountain. We had a really heavy south wind over the night, last evening and overnight, and my assumption is they'd be roosted on the north slopes of these hills, which means down in this bowl. Just gonna stay patient. It's a beautiful morning, so let's get in a good listening spot. Got up to the top of this mountain. Coming across some scratch here. A good looking sign. Fresh pretty much all around me. The first sign I've seen out here, so. I'm going to set up here and listen down into the big bowl. They're really far off. I don't even think the camera is going to pick that up. This trail kind of keeps going and then wraps in that direction, so I might just continue along. I'm pretty sure it's the Jakes. <sighs> Coming from the same, pretty much same spot that they've been hanging out in. And I haven't hunted up here on the left, so I'm going to continue up that way. I don't know, kind of a good sign. I just jumped a hen off this top and he's gobbling right over here. I had to set up.
I don't know if the camera picked it up. I, I saw him. I mean, I'm not really in the best setup I've ever had, but I saw him like 200 yards down there, working from left to right. Their last gobbles were down in there, but I'm almost certain it's those jigs. You know, maybe they'll put on a show. I'm just gonna sit tight and uh, let them come through, let them move off. bad one. Really bad. Why did I do that? Found my Tom. I knew that was a bad idea. Everything worked perfect, except me. Disappointing. It's all on me. It came right up the gut. The reality was that, you know, I rotated where they were gobbling and they came up like right here. He, he spotted me the second he cleared, turned around. I saw the beard. That was definitely Tom. took off flying so clean mess I'm gonna go check it out now ah sugar it's just one of those one of those shots you probably just shouldn't have taken Chris <laughs> it is what it is it's turkey hunting I wasn't in the best hide I'm here like right off the trail and of course he popped his head up and saw me. I mean, he was all the way up here. If I were facing that direction, he would have been toast. Man, that sucks. Oh well. All right, I'm gonna go check it out. Mm, from the highest of highs to the lowest of lows, had such an awesome hunt yesterday. Today started out slow. That other hunter walking through. Ended up getting on the other side of this big, big mountain and had those gobblers over here. I thought, I thought it was three jakes. There's definitely two jakes, but that one that walked out in front of me was a Tom. So, at least he had a long beard. I don't know how much this picked up and that's just something I gotta focus on a little more is, I mean, he had me picked off. He was, he was getting out of there and I rushed that shot, so. No one to blame but myself, I checked it out and the one little sapling that's there is pretty peppered, so definitely looked like I hit him, hit high, or shot high. It's part of the game. Rushed shots don't really end up too successful all too often, so. I'm going to sit out here, 
maybe a few more minutes, maybe work out of here, listen for more. But that might wrap me up for today. Guys, I appreciate y'all watching. I'll catch you from the woods next time.